Today I will practice cross retinoscopy with simulator. Before shift into simulator, let's revise the steps of cross retinoscopy. In this technique, it has only four simple steps. Step 1. Neutralize one meridian with one spherical trial lens and write the power in the optical cross. Step 2. Neutralize other meridian with another spherical trial lens and write the power in the optical cross. Step 3. Subtract working distance power from both meridian. Step 4. Write final prescription from optical cross. This is our patient and we will neutralize this patient refractive error in cross retinoscopic method. Now first let's find the principal meridian. Here as you can see the retinoscopic reflex is not superimposing with the retinal reflex. So we have to rotate the retinoscopic reflex until it gets superimposed with the retinal reflex. So let's rotate the retinoscopic reflex. Now it superimposed with the retinal reflex. So this is our one principal meridian that is 10 degree. Now we will neutralize this meridian with a spherical trial lens. Here as you can see the movement is width. So we will use a trial lens that is having against movement or plus lens. So let's add plus lens and neutralize this meridian. Now with plus 0.5 it's still width so we will increase more. With plus 1 still it's width movement so we have to increase more. With 1.5 still it's width let's increase more. With plus 2 still it's width. With plus 2.5 still it's width. Now finally with plus 3 this meridian get neutralized. So in this meridian or in 10 degree we have plus 3. Now we will move to other meridian and neutralize that meridian also with another spherical trial lens. As our one meridian is 10 degree so other meridian will be 100 degree. So in this meridian also the movement is width. So we will neutralize this meridian with a trial lens having against movement or plus lens. Now with plus 0.5 still it's width. So we will increase more with plus 1 still it's width with plus 2 still it's width with plus 3 still it's width with plus 3.5 still it's width movement so we have to increase more now finally with plus 4 this meridian is neutralized so in this meridian we have plus 4 so in our one meridian that was 10 degree we had plus 3 and in this meridian that is 100 degree we have plus 4 now let's move to our next step we will draw a optical cross and distribute the power meridian wise this is our optical cross 10 degree will be somewhere here and 100 degree will be somewhere here so in 10 degree we had plus 3 so the power will be 90 degree apart here and in the 100 degree we had plus 4 so the power will be 90 degree apart or here so in this meridian we have plus 4 and in this meridian we have plus 3 now we have to subtract working distance power from both meridian suppose our working distance was 67 centimeter then the working distance power will be 100 divided by 67 or 1.5 diopter so we have to subtract 1.5 diopter from both meridian in this meridian the final power will be plus 4 minus 1.5 or plus 2.5 and in this meridian the final power will be plus 3 minus 1.5 or plus 1.5 now our final step that is write final prescription from this optical cross for spherical power take any meridian as spherical meridian let's consider this is spherical meridian so our spherical power will be plus 2.5 for cylinder power difference between cylinder meridian and spherical meridian will be cylinder power and axis will be 90 degree to cylinder meridian so as this is our spherical meridian so this will be our cylindrical meridian so the cylinder power will be plus 1.5 minus 2.5 or cylinder power will be minus 1 and axis will be 90 degree to cylinder meridian that is 10 degree so our final prescription will be plus 2.5 diopter spherical 
minus 1 diopter cylindrical at 10 degree axis. Stay with smart optometry and study optometry smartly.